Hey, Dale here from Mindsight Studios. A lot of SketchUp beginners and even intermediate users don't take full advantage of SketchUp's inferencing locking ability. In a nutshell, inferencing locking allows you to combine multiple inferences while using the various tools. Let's look at some examples. The simplest type of inference lock is the axis lock, which will snap your pointer along the red, green, or blue axis. You can use this lock with several tools, including the line tool, circle, rectangle, move, and rotate tools. When using the line tool, first click the start point of the line. Then tap the right arrow key to lock the next point to the red axis. Tap the left arrow key to lock to the green axis. Or tap the up arrow key to lock to the blue axis. To unlock the constraint, tap the arrow key a second time. Many users don't know that you can also use the down arrow key to lock a parallel inference. The advantage of locking is that you can easily inference to another point in your model while maintaining your axis lock constraint. When using the shape tools such as a circle, rectangle, and rotated rectangle, you can tap the arrow keys before selecting your first point to lock the plane of the shape. Before making your second click, you can tap the arrow keys to lock the orientation of the shape. Axis locking is also extremely powerful when using the move and rotate tools. For example, it allows you to easily move and align objects vertically no matter what direction you're facing. When using the rotate or protractor tool, you can tap an arrow key to lock the plane of the protractor so you can constrain the rotation of the desired plane. You can do far more than simple axis locking with SketchUp. Whenever SketchUp detects any inference, you can lock it by holding down the Shift key. This technique allows you to maintain a locked constraint while inferencing to another point, such as an endpoint, midpoint, or on a face. In this example, I'll use the Line tool and hover my mouse over a midpoint. As I move along the red axis, I can see that SketchUp detects this inference. Now, if I hold Shift, I can lock this inference to make sure that the start of my line will be aligned with the midpoint along the red axis. With my point constrained, I can move my mouse to inference to another point before I have completed my first click. This allows me to start my line at the exact center point of a rectangle. Next, I'll hover my second point over the corner of the rectangle and then hold shift again. Now my line is constrained in that direction no matter where I move the mouse. As another example, I'll hover my mouse over a sloping roof face and hold shift. Now, even if I move off of the face, my first point will still be locked to the plane of the roof surface. Next, I'll hover over the sloping edge of the roof, and then when SketchUp detects a parallel inference, I'll hold shift to lock it again. Now I can reference the ridge of the roof to create a line that ends in perfect alignment with the ridge line. You can even use inference locking to find the intersection between lines. If I hover over a line and hold shift, my point will be locked along that edge. While continuing to hold shift, if I then hover over another line, my point will snap to the intersection of the two edges. Hopefully this video has helped you improve your skills with inference locking. Thanks for watching.